Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset Channel. Today we'll talk about what is a legal representative, European authorized representative in clinical research. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset Channel and all topics on clinical research. Clinical research is an essential aspect of medical advancement focusing on the study of diseases and development of new medical treatments. It involves human participants and is governed by various legal and ethical regulations to ensure the participants' safety, rights, and welfare. A key figure in ensuring adherence to these regulations is the legal representative or the European authorized representative. Their roles are critical in clinical research carrying significant responsibilities that directly impact the trial's credibility and outcomes. What is a legal representative in clinical research? In clinical research, a legal representative refers to an individual or an organization appointed to act on behalf of the sponsor, the entity that initiates and funds the clinical trial. The legal representative assumes legal responsibility for the conduct of the clinical trial ensuring compliance with all relevant laws, regulations, and guidelines. The legal representative serves as liaison between the regulatory bodies, competent authority, and the ethic committee and sponsors, ensuring prompt and appropriate communication flow. Any communication to the legal representative shall be deemed to be a communication to the sponsor. It is the legal representative's responsibility to ensure compliance with the sponsor's obligations under applicable clinical trial regulation and to notify the sponsor immediately in the event of non-compliance. To oversee the trial, legal representative will be responsible for the following. A. Familiarization of study architecture. B. Ensuring documentation compliance by performing spot checks of essential documents provided by the sponsor or in the TMF. C. Review of periodic reporting by sponsor or client, including, but not limited to, status reports, reports of safety issues, reports of protocol deviations. D. Quarterly checks of essential study documentation, risk-based approach for regulatory compliance, including preparation of compliance report, who can be a legal representative. To become a legal representative in clinical research, an individual or organization must possess adequate knowledge and understanding of clinical trial procedures and regulations. This includes familiarity with good clinical practice guidelines and ethical principles. Both individuals and organizations can serve as legal representatives. However, they must demonstrate the capacity to perform the associated duties effectively. This may include having relevant experience in clinical research, legal expertise, or a background in healthcare. What is a European Authorized Representative in Clinical Research? A European Authorized Representative serves a similar role as a legal representative but within the specific context of clinical trials conducted within the European Union EU. The European Authorized Representative is responsible for ensuring that the trial meets EU regulations. The duties of an European Authorized Representative may also include submitting applications for clinical trial authorizations to the relevant authorities, reporting serious adverse events, ensuring correct manufacturing practices for investigational medicinal products, and maintaining detailed records of all activities related to the trial. Who can be a European Authorized Representative? The criteria for becoming an European Authorized Representative are similar to those for becoming a legal representative. However, there is an additional requirement. An European Authorized Representative must be established within a member state of the EU. This means that they are legally based within the EU, which enables them to deal directly with EU regulatory authorities on behalf of the sponsor. Like a legal representative, both individuals and organizations can serve as European Authorized Representatives. They must demonstrate adequate knowledge of EU regulations regarding clinical trials and have prior experience in managing clinical trials. 
What is the importance of legal representative or European authorized representative in clinical research? Legal representatives and European authorized representatives play crucial roles in protecting the rights, safety, and well-being of trial subjects. They ensure that all aspects of a trial comply with ethical guidelines and legal regulations, from participant recruitment to data collection and reporting. Moreover, these representatives contribute significantly to maintaining the credibility of clinical research data. By ensuring adherence to standard protocols and requirements, they help maintain consistency across trials, consequently promoting trust in clinical research findings. Understanding roles like those of legal representatives and European authorized representatives is pivotal for anyone involved in or contemplating involvement in clinical research. These roles carry significant responsibilities that directly impact the outcomes of clinical trials, from participant safety to data credibility. In sum, whether it's conducting trials locally or expanding to international territories like the EU, Having a competent legal representative or European authorized representative on board is not just a regulatory need, but also a critical factor contributing to successful, ethical, and credible clinical research. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.